This video is sponsored by codingskill.net. Please visit our sponsor. Let's work through the problem to compute the average of all the numbers in an array. The average is nothing but sum of all the numbers from the first element to the last element divided by number of elements. So given a list with these numbers, the output will be 4.5. What is the base case? Empty array is a base case. We will return zero. And if you look at this regression diagram, so far what we have been doing is doing a reduction and a combination. This does not work for this problem because average cannot be reduced to a smaller average problem. So for this regression diagram tactic to work, you need a problem and you need a smaller problem of the same type. So if it is a search problem, it should be a smaller search problem. If it's sorting, it should be a smaller sorting problem. So we cannot find any recurrence relation and what do we do in this case? So we have a problem, we decompose the problem into self-similar problems. We solve and combine to get the solution to the original problem. So this does not work. In this case, what do we do? We have a problem, we decompose, we get different problems when you decompose the problem. So average becomes summation problem that can be made smaller and smaller. Some has self-similar problems and the average can be computed once we find a sum by dividing the sum by the number of elements in the given array. So sum takes the array that contains the elements and we also need a second parameter called index to determine the base case as well as accessing the elements in the array. So we first check if the length of the array is equal to the index, which means we have processed all the elements in the array. If so, there is nothing to be processed and we will return zero. Otherwise, we have a recursive case where we don't reduce the size of the array, but we increment the index. So the in index keeps increasing and goes towards the length of the array to reach the base case. We will add the element at this given index to the output of the subproblem to form the sum of all the elements. So in this case, we have these elements and the size of this array is six. The index of the first element is zero. The last element index is five. So this is A of zero, starts with the first element in the array. The recursive call will increment the index. So this will be one for the zeroth indexed element, which is first element in the array is going to have one. So this will eventually be six in the final call to this sum method. When the length of the array is equal to six, this will hit the base case and we will return zero. So this is A of five. And now once we form the sum, we can compute the average by calling this recursive sum procedure with the array A. And we will start with the index zero, which is the first element. Eventually we will divide that value by the length of the array. And we need to convert this to float to make sure we get the decimal number like this. We don't want the 0.5 to be chopped off. Sign up for your free coding interview coaching call. Fuck. Sign up for your free coaching call by going to codinginterview.coach.